Music has been an integral part of my life. In fact, it was my lifesaver. Since I was young, I hung out with the wrong crowd and indulged in all wrong vices. Had it not been for music, I may not even be alive today. I've been greatly blessed, but at the same time, I know where I had started from. Therefore, I'll always carry a burden for the Malay youth who were like me when I was young. This is why I started my part in 2010 with the vision of reaching out to the underprivileged youth through performing arts to equip them, empower them and enable them to dream big. Rudy from the Philippines graduated from the States doing music. He is our choir instructor, also a piano instructor back at his hometown. Rudy worked with persons of diverse ethnic and economic background guiding and supporting them. A passionate educator who aspires to shape and mold youth. I am deeply humble and appreciative for his valuable service rendered to my choir. Muhammad Akif, only 20 years of age, has just completed his studies and awaiting for enlistment. He was my part student last year, who has recently been promoted to be my part percussion instructor. His wish to see the youth of his generation be successful in their respective arenas. Salman, currently a student of Republic Poly and is a guitar class instructor who also started off as an intermediate student last year. He hopes to develop my part youth with confidence to reach their full potential and explore the skills they need to be their very best. At the end of October, my friend Sam brought me to my part. I was really excited but shy because I didn't know how to play guitar at all. Thankfully, everyone was so encouraging. I had a lot of fun during lessons and met a lot of wonderful friends here. I also became more responsible as Pat Mold taught us that a serious musician should always take care of his own guitar. Also, from a bathroom singer who thinks he sounds super weird, I actually had the chance to sing on stage. I was really nervous but I decided to just go for it and I was very happy to receive a lot of positive feedback. My life has really changed. I gained a lot of confidence, even in school. I became more outspoken. Thanks to my part, I now have a dream of becoming a singer. My part is my second family. The children of the world. I was really a shy girl back then, but I really love music. I think I was influenced by my sister who was also an artist. That's how I got to know Pak Moss who produced my sister's album. Actually, I felt reluctant to go as I felt very shy, but I was glad I went in the end. It has already been one year since I first started lessons here. Not only did I get to make friends who share the same love for music like I do, I also learned a lot about playing guitar. My skills have really improved a lot. Also, I was given a chance to perform at a Christmas party and even be the lead singer. I was really nervous. There were a few hundred pairs of eyes staring at me, but Pak Mo and our instructors encouraged us to give our best. My dream is to become a singer and songwriter. I really want to thank Pak Mo, instructors and my friends for my part. This is the awesomest place ever. I was staying in Johor for about four years. I was struggling there with my family. So one day my mom can't take it anymore. She went to an internet cafe. She went online. Um, we found out about New Hope. 
and community services. This uh, community services provides shelter for uh, the ones who need. And about a month uh, later, we moved into Singapore. I was very, very happy. I was very, very uh, thankful. So, but we have to share this unit for uh, with two families. I still remember the lady downstairs at New Hope sharing with me about some choir practice going on and my parents encouraged me to go for it. That was how I joined my part. I felt really shy at the start as I didn't know anyone and I didn't know much about music. But the people here are very friendly and made me feel at ease. During end of your graduation concert and Christmas dinner, I sang for the first time on stage. I was really scared but I did my best. It was really great as many people in the audience clapped so loudly for me. What made me even more happy was when I saw how proud my parents were of me. They kissed me on the head and cheeks and even cried. I joined the guitar class in January and I gained some confidence in myself. I finally realized that I can sing and also play the guitar. Thank you to Pakmo for believing me and also the instructors like Zai Bakken and, yeah, and Pakmo too for teaching me the guitar and teaching me how to sing. So thank you guys. Seeing the lives of these kids change is what keeps me going on. I believe that performing arts can change their life because it changed mine. I believe that this is just the start and I'm looking forward to impacting the lives of these young ones and see them not just become skillful musicians but be youth with a vision and a passion for life knowing that no matter what background they come from as long they are willing to work hard and believe in themselves the sky is the limit Volunteerism to me is about giving back to society, improving people's way of life, making friends, and have fun! Uh, volunteering in my part is different because I can be myself and anything I want, especially in arts. If with my past experience uh, in other volunteer organizations, my personal life like Silat, DK Barat, and Malay Dance, with that, I can share with my friends and the students. Uh, I wish to leave the profile of my part at par with the other Malay Muslim organizations in Singapore so as to make it a household name in the context of Malay performing arts. In fact, this time, I'd like to see my part as a well known organization for performing arts in the community. I wish to see my part working and collaborating with other non profitable organizations to help more youth and broadening its student profile of youth at risk through arts. Hi, we are from My Come join us as the volunteers! Woo! So the children of the world, all the boys and pretty girls, let your innocence proclaim there is love in.